What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable the Secure Boot as well as the TPM for the AS Rock motherboard specifically because it's a little bit different on other motherboards. So I currently have the, I believe the AS Rock B450. And the reason you would want to enable these two things is because um, Windows 11 just came out uh, about a week ago. And this is one of the requirements for you guys to actually able to install Windows 11 on your computer. So I'm gonna link this um, link down below in the description if you wanna see the requirements for Windows 11. But you guys can see under the minimum system requirements, we need the secure boot capable as well as the TPM. So a lot of the older computers don't have that. And um, you guys um, can check, I do believe that there's a PC like help program that you guys can test out to see if your computer is compatible with it. I'm not gonna get into that in this video. This is specifically on how to enable the secure boot as well as the TPM. So um, let's get into that right now. So the very first thing you guys want to do is go to the bottom left hand corner where you guys can power down your computer and you guys you want to click on restart right here or you guys can click on shut down but I'm going to do restart. So once it does boot back up on the AS Rock, you guys should be able to press F2 but it will also let you down know in the bottom right hand corner on how to enter in the BIOS mode. So um, it should be the delete key right here on your keyboard or the F2 key. So I'm gonna spam the F2 key, but I'm gonna show you guys what, what I mean by there's a little message in the uh, bottom right hand corner. So once we see that message, so you guys see right there, it says press F2 to delete to run in the UEFI setup. So I'm spamming the F2 key currently. And um, like I said, you can also use the delete button, but this is for, like I said, specifically for the AS Rock motherboard. And once you guys are in the BIOS mode right here, you guys can go to the advanced tab right here. So the third tab. And then what you wanna do is click on the CPU configuration. And then at the bottom right here, you should see something called AMD FTPM switch. And you wanna select this right here. So originally it should be disabled but what you want to do is set it to where it says AMD CPU F uh, FTPM. So once you guys have done that, we have enabled the TPM now. So the next thing we want to do is enable the secure boot. So what you want to do next is go into the security tab right here, go into the secure boot, and then this secure boot should be disabled originally. And if you try enabling it, it won't work. So what you have to do is you need to set the secure boot mode to standard first because originally it's gonna be on custom so i'll show you what i mean by that so if i disable this right here and i try enabling it you guys can see it's not going to let me but i've already done it before that's why it lets me now but you want to set the secure boot mode to standard right there and then set the secure boot to enabled and once you guys have done that you guys can click on exit and then save changes and exit and then after that, you're going to be able to install Windows 11 without any problems. This shouldn't say like your PC does not meet the requirements. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. This is how you guys enable the TPM as well as the secure boot on the AS Brock motherboard. If you did enjoy this video, drop a like on it. Hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. And that's basically it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.